What is going on YouTube? Baku here again with another video. In today's video, it is going to be surrounded by the Bombardiers. Now, Bombardiers, depending on what super you use, if you dodge, you can blind, scorch, suppress, slow, or sever targets. Each one of them having realistically their own merit, depending on how you want to go. Um, and this all depends on your super. The only super I don't recommend is Silence and Squall. As you will soon see, we will slow targets anyways with an a the aspect that we'll be using, which is Winter Shroud, I believe that's what it's called. Um, I will be utilizing several of the targets, so we will be going with the Strand Super. Um, of course, whatever one fits your needs, you can always switch it around. <clears throat> so, going into the subclass, obviously, like I said, Silk Strike is going to be what we're going to utilize. Uh, I'm using Gambler's Dodge, Withering Blade, Magnetic Grenade, Winter Shroud, and Stylus Executioner. So we're going to have several ways that we can go invisible here. And one of the ways is weakening targets with our Magnetic Grenade. That will make us go invis. Making things either sever or slow, which is what our dodge does as well as our melee slows. So that plays into that. We're going to be utilizing Transcendence a lot here because it, you, you'll get it back when you use Outbreak. It's really good. Uh, Facet of Grace, which obviously you get more Transcendence energy while shooting your Kinetic. Facet of Solitude. Now this is where it really, we play into the severing effect because Lenny Precision hits, which you always do with Outbreak. You will emit a Severing Blast, and if you're Transcendent while this happening, the Sever severing blast will be bigger then we're using facet of defiance finishers create a detonation that either jolts scorches slows severs or makes targets volatile based on the damage type of your super so as you can tell this build is very aggressive you have to get in there you have to dodge um some aspects you can kind of play back get your transcendence energy build super etc but for the most part this build is a very aggressive build which is super risky for in-game content but it's also something fun that you can use on the side uh, this is like the first build that I made to where I had in-game in mind obviously when you see the footage this is in a master law sector uh, which is 2030 power my current light level with the boost is 2017 and I handled it pretty easily um, with that being said let's get into the mods that we're using so we're using dynamo dodging your targets giving you super energy uh kinetic siphon for outbreak focusing strike powered melees give class ability bolstering detonation grenades give class ability and then firepower for those orbs of power um chess piece really doesn't matter going into this we're, we're double dipping in recuperation as we'll be creating several orbs of power and for the in-game content I mean you really don't need double recuperation you could go innervation, invigoration, um, insulation as well it all depends on what you do um, you can always just give that a shot either way moving on we have distribution reduces all ability cooldowns when you're using your class ability in your targets which you will always be doing with this build as I said, this is a very aggressive build. Obviously, if you're doing a strike like last way, you'd have to wait for the enemies to come to you to utilize the build itself. But that's the whole reason as to why we're using the Facet of Solitude and the Facet of Defiance um, just to get the Severing Blast. Also, severing a target makes them do, I don't know the strict percentage, but it does make them do less damage. Then we're rocking Reaper. Obviously, you're dodging all the time. So, you will get that extra order of power. <clears throat> as for stats, I recommend Rezil along with Discipline as we're utilizing our grenade to weaken the targets. This goes for bosses, etc. Champions. I recommend at least 60 to 70 mobility. Um, you don't have to go 100 mobility here. I went 80 because it was available to me, as I always do. 
Weapon wise, power weapons subject to change. It really doesn't matter. I used it for this run just to melt champions faster. Uh, I used this hand cannon obviously for jolt because this will also make you go invisible when you jolt the target. Strategist final blows with this weapon improved or it generates improved class ability energy so it kind of plays into the gameplay loop a little bit which is something I always try to do with my weapons if you watch my uh, son in the palm of your hands build with the warlock then obviously you'll notice that I do the same thing with the smite of iron now outbreak protected with rerun rounds no explanation needed there uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I've been trying to write scripts for my videos um, any feedback you know if I yap too much, if I go too much into detail, if you're just not captivated by it and you think, man, this guy really should just show the build instead of explaining it, let me know in the comments. Nothing really offends me, so anything you say, I will take in stride. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this build, you can use it for any game content, but I really just wanted to make a build that everybody could really enjoy. It does have a lot of application to it, and it just takes an overall aggressive playstyle, which is fine. I think that um, most hunter builds nowadays on Prismatic are aggressive, and this just utilizes being able to slow and make your enemies do less damage while having fun while doing so. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.